glad you did the Capricorn love reading and this is a timeless reading so this is for whenever you feel drawn to hear this message also this may or may not resonate with you if it does take what does if it does not leave what does not all right so we're going to get a romance card whispers of love romance angels and then some tarot some clarifiers and then close out with an oracle all right so let's get a romance angel for overall energy to see what's going on give us a clue who needs to hear this message forgiving and learning very important as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments because you're not holding on to that that negative energy you're not holding on to that frustration and you have to ask yourself why am I holding on to that what positive effects is that bringing me, right? Why am I holding on to it? What do I feel that I'm gaining by hanging on to that negative energy? All right, let's get a Whispers of Love. I feel like that one wanted to pop up. We have receive with love and appreciation. Gracious acceptance is a way to show love. So I feel like if somebody reaches out to you and they say, hey, I want to talk about this. I want to work through this. And instead of you saying, you know what? I'm really angry with you. I don't want to talk to you about this. I don't want to, I don't want to deal with it. If you feel you're not in a calm place to talk about it, obviously, you know, that's what you should say. You should say, I'm not really at that point right now. I would like to talk to you about this, but I, right now I still have a lot of anger and frustration that I don't feel is a good time for me to talk about this, to work through this. I need to sort through my own feelings first. And being able to say that, number one, you're looking out for yourself, and number two, you're explaining to the other person, instead of just saying, no, I don't want to talk to you, you're, you, you're at least opening that door to say, yes, I want to talk to you, but I need to do it at a time when I feel like I'm ready to and that I can handle this without it turning into something that makes it even worse, right? And I feel like that's, that's showing the other person, okay, when they're ready, they'll let me know. Oh, we had two that came out here. We have balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Okay. Um, having those ups and downs within a relationship. Then we have this one. Embrace. Through each other you find the missing pieces. I think those were the same ones that came out um, that I did for another one. But they wanted to come out this time, so we took them again, and especially that goes very well with the forgiving and lear learning, right? And being able to get past a difficult situation. Having those ups and downs. But I also feel like it's, like I was saying, is being true to yourself and saying that if you're truly not ready to have that discussion, that you realize that. Because you don't want to say anything that you're going to regret later, because you can't take those words back, and it's better just to wait and just step away and when you feel ready then to 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 feel sort through your own feelings and then talk about it all right look at that we have the tower so definitely something going on with you and this person whether it's a partner or friendship family whatever that is okay but things blowing up right flipping tables over things are flying things are going crazy we've got the three of swords right next to that right Feeling stabbed, feeling hurt, feeling let down. I love this little guy, the Ten of Wands. Moving forward with this little cart, pack it up. <laughs> pack it up, I'm moving on. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. Aces are new beginnings. We have the Seven of Swords, okay? Walking away. Six of Swords. Moving on to calmer waters. Queen of Wands. She's not taking it anymore, right? She's not dealing with it. Um, five of Wands. Arguing, disagreeing, fighting. Two of Cups as an overall energy. <laughs> so it goes with being a love reading, right? The Two of Cups as an overall energy. There's a relationship that there's definitely a lot going on here and I feel like there's a lot of hurt, there's a lot of letdown, there's a lot of distance. 
um, fighting, arguing, um, those things tend to build up like that saying, don't go to bed angry, because if you go to bed angry, those things build up. And I almost feel like this is what happened here where things built up so much that it was like, finally, it's just exploding. And I feel like you want to just leave like you want to pack your stuff up and you want to leave you want to go away you don't want to be in this anymore you're like i can't take this anymore i can't deal with this it's just this this toxic energy that i don't want to deal with um with this five of wands here i feel like it's kind of you like one day you're feeling like, yep, I'm packing up and I'm leaving. And one day you're like, no, I want to work through this. So I kind of feel like, I'm feeling like that energy going on here. Because we have this forgiving and learning and the balance and the challenging. And, you know, receiving with love and appreciation, listening to that person's side of the story. I feel um, the word stubborn, um, that maybe, um, I'm not trying to say that against you it's just that sometimes we kind of have those blinders on and we need to see it from the other person's point of view if it's a really toxic horrible situation that you feel you want to leave in leave from then definitely that's something that you need that you should do right i'm not saying to stay in a toxic relationship i feel like this is a relationship that's just going through a rough patch because we have the two of cups as an overall energy so i feel like there's that connection between the two of you and I feel like this is just one of those those arguments, something that's been building up and that it's finally exploded. And now it's like all of these raw feelings are absolutely everywhere. And it's almost like I know that sometimes when things happen for me when I'm in a relationship, that what I want to do is I just want to pack up and, and walk away and I don't want to deal with it. It's like I'm over it. I'm done. I'm not going to spend time with you anymore. I'm not going to deal with this. And I just shut down but I've learned that okay I need to face it like I need to see how I feel I need to work through this we need to get past the situation because I do like this relationship and I need to work through this instead of me just shutting down and walking away and packing up because that's not really how you grow right if it's like again like I said if it's a toxic situation that's not a good situation then that's something that you need to leave from then yes absolutely but if it's a relationship that you've had with someone for a long time and you do care about them, that instead of just shutting down, it's okay, yeah, it's hard to talk about those feelings and how you're feeling and what's going on. But I feel like that's, because with the tower, it's like rebuilding, right? It's tearing it down and then rebuilding. Lexi, she's snoring. <laughs> um, and maybe that's just rebuilding yourself on how you handle these difficult situations instead of shutting down and keeping all that frustration and that negative energy within that you're like, okay, I need to face it. I need to work through it. I need to not hold on to those things because that's just creating a bigger problem between me and this person. Um, and that's hard to do, you know. It's, it's, it's hard to look at it and say yeah you know i have this bad habit of holding on to if you irritate me i'm going to hold on to that little tidbit for a long time or, or if you've done something against me you know I'm, I'm going to hold on to that for a long time and that's something that i have to let go and i have to work through all right two of wands making that decision what are we going to do here right what, what are you going to do here what are you going to do with this tower moment? Like, are you going to um, shut down and move away and end this relationship? Um, or are you going to rebuild it to be stronger and have this forgiving and learning, right? Forgiving this situation, um, working through this situation and learning from it for the future, right? Rebuilding that tower stronger and realizing, okay, this is what I tend to do and realizing that. Um, King of Pentacles, being able to work on yourself, right? Being able to work on that, being patient with yourself, realizing that it's it's not that you're a bad person because you do those things. It's just it's just how you you you've reacted. It's just how you've been. But you're at least acknowledging, okay, yeah, it's something that I have to work on, and that's being that bigger person and realizing, yeah, it's something that I have to work on. It's it's something that I have to work on myself 
in order to have better relationships. Um, seven of Wands, something that you have to work on, right? Because I feel like instead of packing your little wagon up and moving on, and maybe just not even talking to that person for weeks or months, or, you know, just having this big wall up between the two of you. It's okay to take that time, like I said, to process it, to figure out what it is that you want to say, to figure out how you're feeling, and then maybe write those things down, kind of think over it, and then make your decision on what it is that you want to do. Ace of Pentacles, Aces are New Beginnings, kind of working through this situation, right? Ace of Wands, okay? <laughs> A new beginning, a new start for the two of you. Now, it could be that maybe there is a breakup here, that you do decide to end a relationship, that you do walk away, that you are separated, and maybe you decide to go out on your own and start things new. Like I said, if this is a toxic relationship or something that you're like, I finally had it, like I've had it, I can't deal with it anymore. I'm finally standing up for myself and I'm making the decision that's right for me, that I need to leave this relationship that is not really a positive one for me, right? So it could be that too. So for because this is a you know for a large audience, so I try and think of the different scenarios within the reading. So for some of you, it could be that realizing that you hold on to things and that you need to work through those, and so that you can get your relationship back on track. And for some of you, it may be that you're walking away from this relationship because you you're finally realizing that this is something that is toxic and not something that you want to be in, and that you want that new start for yourself that you want to feel emotionally better, that you want to feel like you are emotionally in a better place. Maybe you haven't been happy for a long time. Maybe you've been um, really upset and you've been sad and you just haven't felt like yourself and you're like, you know what, I want to get myself back to that better place where I'm feeling happy, that I'm enjoying the day, right? The death card um, could be, like I said, letting go of that relationship and moving on to a new relationship that you've learned a lot from the relationship, right? You learned what you could from the relationship, you learned what you don't want to deal with, and you learned what you do deserve and what you do want to have in, in, your, in your relationship, and you're moving on from that. Or it could be that if you stay in the relationship, you realize, okay, yeah, I hang on to things for too long, and I need to get past it quicker, and I need to open up those lines of communication between the two of us sooner. We have the Hierophant, kind of having that grounding relationship, feeling safe, feeling secure. Maybe this is a long-term relationship that you've been in and this is, you know, you're having these ups and downs and maybe this is a really big down between the two of you, but I feel like learning from this and moving on is that it won't be as big as it was because you, you've been able to handle this situation here, all right? Two of Swords, making that decision, what is it that you want to do, but she also has the blinder on, so it's about looking at both sides of the situation, looking at the good, the positive, the ugly, the the wonderful, you know, kind of looking at all of those things, looking at your side, looking at their side. You know, again, I feel like with the five of wands, it's that kind of going back and forth and trying to figure out what it is that you want to do, but not making that decision until you're ready to make that decision. Not rushing into it, but feeling confident in your decision, whether it's walking away from this relationship and leaving it and moving on, or it's, you know, again, whether you're holding on to that energy for a long time and not talking to the person and not communicating with them. Look at that. Ace of Cups. And that goes on the overall energy with the lovers, okay? So this definitely has to do with a relationship that has a new beginning, that has a new start. It's either you find a new relationship, you leave this relationship and you're moving on, or it is a new like reconciliation, working through this current relationship that becomes stronger, that becomes better. We have the Ace of, right here on the, on the right here, we have the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. All right, four Aces, new beginnings. There's definitely a new beginning for you, but you have to choose what works best for you. Is it working on this relationship or moving away from the relationship? I feel like you're finally at that point where you're like, something's gotta change because I'm not happy with the way things are and forgiving and learning from the situation and moving on whichever suits you best um, because I feel like you're at that point. Big changes, right? You're ready for change. You're ready to get yourself back into that, you know, feeling happy, feeling emotionally better. Oh, look at that. 
ant spirit, time to collaborate. I feel like that's kind of like time to collaborate with yourself and figure out what is it that you really want. <clears throat> and like I've said that before, I feel like a lot of it is trying to figure out what you really want. How are you really feeling? The negative and the positive, right? How are you really feeling? What do you really feel inside that you want to do within this relationship? What is it that you want to do? What, where do you want to be six months from now? Where do you want to be a year from now? Do you, do you want to still be in this energy or do you want to move on from it? What do you want to have happen? And then to collaborate with this person and figure out, okay, we've either got to make some changes or you've got to move on. But whatever works best for you. But I feel you're ready for big changes. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.